What's going on guys? We are back tonight with another showcase video for you. And of course I want to take it the new card that just came out the other day. And we're going to take a look at Bobblehead. And this card, I feel like I really want it to be good, but I just don't know. The fact that you have to use nuclear cards and there's only three right now in the game is terrible. And until this card gets more support, I feel like the downside of using these two to three cards to make this even worthwhile is pretty bad. So uh, I kind of wish it said maybe nuclear on itself. I think that would make it a little bit better. So you don't have to have too many extra bad slots, but uh, we are rocking nuclear fission. Oh, I guess let's explain what it does. Uh, for every card with nuclear in the name in your deck to a max of three, your cards, wherever they are, gain four perm. So you could potentially get a max of 12 perm for your whole deck, which seems pretty decent uh, when you look at it that way. But I don't know. Like I said, you have it's quite a bit of downside having to play three nuclear cards when those choices are pretty bad. So first one is Nuclear Fission. When returned, your fusion cards, wherever they are, cost minus two this round. So because of this card, and we and we are a lower energy week, I decided let's let's toss a lot of fusions in here that are a little bit higher costed so we can really take advantage of Nuclear Fission a little bit. And that's what I did. So I tossed a lot of fusions in here with uh, that are a little more expensive just to try to to try this out. So I haven't really played, I just tweaked it, so I haven't played the new uh, version yet. I did play my older version, it was pretty bad, so uh, I did tweak it quite a bit, so probably added four or five new cards in here to try, try some different things out, especially with the energy, because you can see I'm running a lot of expensive cards, so uh, especially for only 13 energy this week, this is going to be a little difficult to pilot uh, and play, but I don't really expect to win. This is more of a fun deck, so uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh, nuclear Pasta is the other nuclear card. When returned, this card gains 25 perm. The third nuclear card I opted not to use, and mainly just because this week the energy is 13 no matter what, and Nuclear Power Plant uh, is the third one, and it basically gives energy regen, so doesn't do, really do anything. The ability is pretty much a dead ability this week, so I would really have only been adding it just to get the extra four on all my cards, but it didn't really seem worth it just because nuclear power it's in itself was like, what, five cost for 10 base power? It's really bad, so I said, nah, we're not going to put it in the deck. Let's just run with two. Eight perm is decent enough, right? So uh, we're rocking Steampunk, a fusion card. Uh, if your deck contains exactly five history and exactly five science cards, your arts and culture cards, wherever they are, gain 18 for three turns. So you can see we do have the five science and five history down there in the bottom. So that's what we're doing. And the rest we stacked with arts and culture so we can maximize the steampunk buff. Obviously, aside from nuclear pasta, because that was a, a must-have for bobblehead. Uh, spam. Uh, when drawn, if your deck has two or more Curious Cuisine cards, your Fusion and Ultra Fusion gain eight perm again. So more, more permanent buffs for all these Fusions in the deck. Uh, it does require another Curious Cuisine card, so we went with Caviar. Uh, also gets triggered from the Boxing, which is nice. And it reduces itself down really cheap, which is nice. So uh, another good thing in this deck we want is... Uh, cheap cards, obviously, because we are rocking so many expensive cards and really heavily relying on the debuffs like Nuclear Fission and Japanese Yen. When drawn, your cards in hand cost minus two until played, so that's going to come in handy. Virtual Reality, your remaining cards in hand cost minus two next turn, so that also more uh, basically a uh, little energy reduction for us. Uh, I mentioned boxing already. Our cards with 70 or more base power. Going to get that 14 until played. Uh, Burge, nice card here because the plus two for the opponent uh, doesn't really matter. So we get the 100 power for six, which is pretty good. And it's a fusion card. Uh, Boudica, another fusion card here. When played, if you're losing the round, this card gains 20. And if you won the turn, gains 20 perm. Sun Tzu, another discount for us. Our history cards are going to get minus two on the round. Galv Goat, again, more energy reduction. 
Uh, your cards in hand cost minus one until played. Uh, that's an added card. I, I changed it up. I think I had Christmas Carol here, and it was just so bad because my whole deck got even more difficult to play. And I was like, no, nah, I got I to gotta cut it. As much as I wanted Christmas Carol in here, I just I had to cut it. 13 is just not enough to deal with that. Uh, also subbed in this red diamond here. I had the one drop, the new Ultra Fusion to test it out and I just uh, it was a little underwhelming so I cut it thought red diamond for the hunter next turn might come in handy to really help me get a jump start on a round Joan of Arc when drawn a random card in your hand gains 55 until played uh, another card that we don't see the the downside this week Oda when return lose three we don't really lose three so you get that six for 110. And my last two cards really just to give me a chance to maybe win a game. Jet Car, that plus 80 on the turn. And Charles Ponzi going to give us the buff as well. So uh, those two cards hopefully going to carry me to a, maybe a win. You know, you never know. But I don't expect to win. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to preface that now. Uh, it's more for fun. I really just wanted to showcase Bobblehead. And it's very tough this week to... <laughs> To show a card like this off so uh, at least in anything that's going to be halfway decent i feel like there's an argument that you probably could do something with vitruvian man and consciousness but i do feel like that that's kind of played out a little bit at least for for my channel i'm trying not to make those kind of decks all the time just because it's so meta you know i just like to bring some cool stuff for you guys you know mix it mix it up show you some stupid stuff Make you laugh and you know. Never... <laughs> we gotta throw the ding dong stuff out here occasionally. All right, come on, Galv Goat, do me good. Let's see, let's see. Not the best draw. Didn't get my big energy regen cards that I really wanted. I think I, I think I play this down. And what else? What else? Could just do Joan. Let's get the two expensive cards out of our hand. Lenny Lemur. Probably just do the one game since this is just a fun deck anyway. And you guys probably don't want to see me losing multiple games with this deck anyway. So uh, I'll just do the one most likely. Haven't done a video in a couple days, so I wanted to get one out. Even though we, uh, you know, we like to do silly stuff. Ugh, again, just a little awkward on the energy. Guess we could do it like this. Our bot's going try hard with Super Egg. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. All right, we got Charles Ponzi. So, we really want to save this for next round. I think I'm just going to chuck these two. Oh, wow. We almost almost probably could have won that. Yeah, if I'd have played Fission, but I didn't really want to play it because I didn't think we were winning. Huh. Who would have thunk it? We actually had a chance there. Oh, the stud of the show, guys. Bobblehead in the house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be rocking my bobble, man. Can't be gunning me down. All right, all right. What do we got? What do we got? All right, I want to get you here. Let's do you. And if we won the turn, it's 20 perm. So maybe that's a good one. Ooh, it's got the flying cloud. K 
Caviar, a little awkward. Since we drew it literally right at the start, <laughs> it's making it really difficult. Let's hold that. Since we're winning this round, doesn't make sense. Almost cheap enough to play caviar. Almost. I might just have to play it to get it out of my hand. If we can get one more little bit of reduction. Boom. Do we play it and just get it out of here? kind of want to. Yeah, I'm just going to get it out of my hand. Looked like a good turn to do it. Not the best cycling for us there, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do it. Yeah, still not the best. Let's do let's do red diamond. It might keep us in this round. All right, we got Ponzi. Decent draw. Do it like that. Oh, yeah, jet car. Forgot about that. Well, poo. <sighs> My fusion plan. It's not working. <laughs> Dang it, Brandon. Why? Why must you do silliness? All right, definitely going Ponzi here. What else do we like? What else do we like? Kind of thinking boom, boom. So we draw, well, we're probably not gonna cycle well enough to draw it when we want it. And then probably not gonna make it to round five, so I guess it's all right. But yeah, just, man, I want it to be better. Definitely needs some help. But we might get there. Maybe one day. I'm going to hold out hope for Bobblehead. Hold out hope. One day, going to be playable. Ooh. Is this our comeback turn? Nope. Not enough. It was a try. All right, guys. That's going to do it for tonight. I know not the greatest deck at all, but... Uh, Again, wanted to really show off the new card, Bobblehead. You guys can kind of get my thoughts on it. And again, I think it's it's a card that needs support. And I could definitely see... I could see it being playable, but not yet. I don't think right now in this meta, that card is going to be anywhere near fast enough with the support cards it has. I think it needs probably two more really good nuclear cards to be able to, to, be able to really play it seriously. So right now, I'm definitely going to put it down in a lower tier, uh, probably like a, a, a C tier, maybe even a high, or I'm sorry, a low B tier for now, just until it gets better support cards. But in a vacuum, if it had good, well, I guess that's not in a vacuum, but if it had good support cards, I could definitely see that card being an A tier card for sure, uh, given a good 
one or two more nuclear cards that are halfway playable. Uh, that's kind of where I'm, where I'm thinking. I don't think it would ever get any higher than A, A tier, up to like S tier or anything, but who knows? It definitely could, depending on how good the nuke cards really are, but I'm not going to hold my breath for that. So uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, please hit that like button and subscribe button, and again, thanks for supporting the channel, and have a good night, guys.